Hey everybody, Tracking Pat here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to add pictures and notes to your existing programs or your new programs, and you will have them as a benefit the next time you do that job. So first of all, I'm at the main screen, and I'm just gonna go to program mode, and I'm gonna show you that I'm doing a part that you've seen in a lot of different videos that we call the small spindle, okay? And what this is basically is just a piece part that has a cycle event, and it has a small groove for thread relief, and it has a thread in it, all right? But the reason I'm showing you this today is because I want to show you that in the setup mode, we actually have two buttons here. One says notes and one says pictures. So let's talk about notes first. I kind of cheated here a little bit, so I put all the information in ahead of time to keep the video short. But you'll see that I have multiple boxes in here, and I can add information to each one of these about the specific job. So in the first box, I told them that we did this with 6061 aluminum round stock. In here, I tell them that the piece part itself is six by one. And in here, I tell them that part zero is located on the center of the end of the part. Okay, so those notes can be beneficial when somebody else runs this job and wants to know how I set it up. Okay, now if I push return, the next button in here says pictures. And in pictures, you'll notice in here that it says choose, previous, and next. We're going to start out with choose. And in here, you'll see that I have some JPEG files. I took pictures of the parts that are in the spindle right now and that is that small spindle, okay? So the first one in here, I'm just gonna select it and say add it to my program. And then I'm gonna take the second one and select it and add it to my program. And when I push return, you're gonna see that there's the spindle with the piece part in it. So they see exactly how it's chucked up and how I'm going to hold it. And the one before that actually shows me a close up so I can see how the part is machined. I can see the groove, I can see the thread. So there's no doubt about how I made this the last time it was done. So in a machine shop like yours, it may be that you make it the first time, but then a month from now they need one and you're on vacation. So then we say, hey, you know what? Go open the pictures and notes, look at how the job was set up, please make me one of those and ship it to the customer right away. And you can do that without having to bother the guy who's on vacation who's sitting at the beach having a beer or something like that, right? Something really important. So I hope you understand how simple this is to use. When you save the program, simply go into program in and out, say save file. It's going to say, hey, it already exists. Yes, I know that. But the next time you open it up, the pictures and notes will be attached to that program. Super simple, super powerful, and super useful. I hope you use this from now on. It's a really good thing to know. Thanks for watching. As always, keep on tracking.